Hi, I'm James Cherry. You're watching The Beat, and this is Cry Myself to Sleep. Enjoy. Live on the beat, the track is Cry Myself to Sleep. It's by James Cherry. It's good to have you back. Hello, you all right? I'm very well. It's been a, a while, actually, since we've, we've, we've got you into the studio to do yeah, a session. Yeah, it seems it's re like rewinding been. quite a few years, actually. So that, can, we, can we just relive that, the, the, the first time we saw you, and, and your, the journey that you've been on since then? Yeah, I think it was um, about five, six years ago, something like that, where you um, very nicely invited me to go to Abbey Road and Made of Vale, mm -hmm. part of the Introducing Masterclass, of which... Jake Bug was also part of that, mm. you know, crew. Um, he's gone on to do big and massive things, which is very, very good. Um, and I've just sort of tried to find my sound and grow up a little bit because I don't think I was ready back then to do what I'm doing now. I, it wouldn't have worked. Um, but obviously you've stuck by me for, for six years and, and now here I am. So thank you very much. One well, of the sound is, you, 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 you refer to growing up there, the sound is very slick, very accomplished now. Is yeah. this the sound that you've been searching for for that time, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think um, back then it was, you know, I didn't have, I wasn't mature enough to write about the things that I'm writing about now. So it, with, with sounds, you need a topic to match it. Otherwise you've just got a bunch of nothing. Um, so I guess now the 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 topics I'm writing about make sense and the sound that I've got I'm really happy with you know I'm, I'm always you know thinking about moving forward with a different sound but right now I think you know 
it worked. So let's talk about the track we've just heard, "Cry Myself to Sleep." Where did it come from? Do you remember a defining moment <clears> when it was born, or was it one of those songs that that evolved over a period of time? Um, basically, I um, I went to music college in Leicester for a year, and it was a composition piece, and I was really running out of ideas and and any, and, and you know really struggling, and then I started doing working the harmonies behind it. And it was done within a week, but that, that was about three years ago. Um, but after that, I actually got kicked out of that course because I didn't uh, attend, you know, that much. Um, but um, that song, yeah, was was just a, a crossover of how I was feeling as well at the time, uh, you know, with, with girls and, you know, things like that. But from that song, uh, I got managed, you know, and which is great because I wouldn't be here without my management. So... Um, so really, that was the starting point of, of where you know where I am now. So yeah, you're from Leicester. You've remained in Leicester for yeah. these years, and you did a big Leicester show going back a few weeks. Yeah, and it was a complete sellout. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was weird. You know, I was, we we had a couple of venues lined up before, and we went. I was always saying to management, let's let's do a smaller venue because I'm a bit scared that no one will turn up. Um, and then. Because originally, before we you know, got the band together, it was just going to be an acoustic set. So it was me um, and a guy just playing guitar for me. Um, and it didn't really work, so we upped the venue. And I was like, oh, God, we, we're never going to fill this out. So we're, so when it was, uh, you know, said sold out above the door, it was a great moment, especially for my mum and my grandma. You know, it was, uh, it was like, wow, it's real. And uh, to, to get on stage... And playing Leicester, which is great because, you know, I've, I've been doing a couple of shows in London and uh, nobody knows what a cob is in London. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was great to, like, actually say, it's you know, everyone knows what a cob is and people were on your side. And But, no, it was a great gig and it was uh, something that I'll never forget. You, know. you have got more London shows coming up too. Yeah, I've uh, playing on the 30th of October at Coco in London, part of uh, Club Enemy, um, which will be it's good. exciting. Yeah, it'll be good. Uh, biggest crowds yet, I think. So, a um, bit nervous, but, you know, fully fully excited. Should be a good one. Hopefully smash it and uh, have a good time and get drunk. I'm yeah. sure you should be a good night. And then you, you're back in Leicester at some point in the future as well, so we'll keep our eye on, yeah, your, yeah, yeah, of on course. your Facebook page always, for the details yeah. of that. Okay. Yeah, always. So what's the dream then now? What, where, what is the big hope as we sit here in 2015? What, what is it at the back of your mind? Is it just a case of taking it a week at a time, or do you have a kind of grand plan somewhere fermenting there? I suppose... Um, you have to take it a week at a time, um, and I do, but then you obviously look down the line and think, right, well, in six months I'd like to be here, in a year I'd like to be here. Um, you know, I think for me it's it's getting my album done, um, That that's the next next stage, and to carry on writing and per performing, I think performing for me is the pinnacle of what I'm doing, it, it's what I you know do it for. It's all good sitting in a studio and writing a song, which is great, but if you can't perform it and share it to anyone, then it's pretty pointless. Um, so yeah, I just want to just be seeing the world and you know doing doing my thing, I guess. So. If people want to find out more about you online, to check the gig tickets, to download your music, where's the best place to go to do that, James? Um, Facebook is uh, facebook.com forward slash James Cherry Music. Um, Twitter is I'm James Cherry, um, and then those are, those two are probably the best. And then Spotify, just you know, search James Cherry is is, is always a good shout. Thanks for doing this. You're going to do, do another track in a minute. A, a, yep. a new track. Do you want to talk us into this and explain where it, where it came from? Yeah, um, it's, it's called No Shame. Um, and I, I wrote it with a, with a woman called Emily Phillips, who's a lovely woman. Um, and she turned around and says, you've got no shame. You've got no cutoff point. And I was like, <laughs> you're not wrong. You, you're really not that wrong. Um, so I was like, shall we write a song about it? Hi, I'm James Cherry, you're watching The Beat, and this is No Shame. Enjoy. I 
what I came to do. Oh, I'm electric, my body can't take it. So can take this when I move. Dare you to step inside my world tonight? But I won't be there if you do. No, I got no shame, I got no romance. Is it me that you're looking for? But I got my hands up Oh, I'm jumping in my sweat on the floor oh, Hell no, I don't wanna leave the love this life There's a devil in my hand and that's alright That's what I came here for oh, oh, I got no shame I got no romance Is it me that you're looking for? You're doing it wrong, but you're not on the level that I'm doing it on. You're the first to arrive and the last to leave. Just give me a second to breathe. You're doing, doing it right, you're, you're doing, doing it wrong, wrong, but you're not on the level that I'm doing it on. You're the first to arrive and the last to leave. Just give me a second to breathe. I got no shame, I got no romance. Is it me that you're looking for? Or just